Hello guys, this is Daniel from the Tutorial Brothers, and today I'm going to be showing you a uh, pretty neat effect in Motion 5. I'll be showing you how to do typography, or sometimes called kinetic typography. And it's a pretty easy concept once you learn it, but it's not that easy to learn on your own. Um, where it looks really smooth and uh, kinetic. So what I'm going to be showing you is how to make the sample you just saw. I won't be showing you the whole thing because after a while it's just repeating the same process. Um, so let me just dive right into this. Let's make a new blank project. We're going to make it fit. And then I'm going to select the group. And what I'm going to do is add just a rectangle. And just bring it over the whole thing make sure the rectangle is white we're gonna add a vignette just so we've got a nice background that draws your eye to the middle of the screen we're gonna make the size 82 the fall off 1 and the darkness 0.4 actually the size was 0.82 so it's not very dramatic but it's still you'll be able to tell um, once you watch it so what we're gonna do first is add our text I'm just gonna type in U in all caps um, the font I'm on is Tahoma bold so I have a specific color I want so I'm gonna go to our HUD go to the colors go to sliders and what I'm going to make the red is 0 make the green 44 and make the blue 91 and then we're going to drag our color down into down here just so we can save our color so we don't have to type in those numbers every time um, I already did that is right there and then what I'm going to do is um, the font I'm going to make size 25 so really small and then we're going to go to properties rotation negative 32 and then we're going to add more font or more text we're going to do can not in all caps we're gonna go to our HUD color go to the crayons and we're gonna select the aqua color and I have it down here so we can just click that every time and we're gonna make the size of the can knot really big we're gonna make it 288 there we go and then we're going to move our can knot into the center just eyeball it you don't need the guidelines or anything let me zoom in and we're going to remove the U to about right here so it fits into that C like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a camera so it's not 2D but 3D and to do that we just go down here and select create camera it'll ask you if you want to cameras only affect 3d groups do you want to switch your TD group 2d groups to 3d and we want to switch to 3d so that's just a precaution because sometimes if you don't want it to turn it to 3d and you click that by accident it could really mess up your project so that's why it asks you so we're going to select our background and we are going to put that in our own group to do that just bring it to the top and then we're gonna bring it to the bottom again whoops don't let that open up you want that line just like that so now it's in its own group and we're gonna call it background 
or just BG and you can see this little icon here where it's three flat uh, squares on top of each other that's the 3d icon and we want to switch that to 2d so the text and the cameras 3d but we want the background 2d so that's the icon for 2d and we're gonna stop messing around with the background and what we're going to do now is go to our seconds we're gonna go to 25 or no two seconds and five frames I'm manipulating that just by dragging up or down so two seconds five frames just like that and I'm going a little slow because I have this all written down because it's a lot of numbers to be remembering um, I'm not Superman sadly so I can't remember it all um, so next what we're going to do is select our camera go to properties and then mark our position and our rotation by selecting the add keyframe like that and then next what we're going to do is I think zoom in um, alright so we're gonna actually double click our time go to next type in negative 25 push enter it'll go back uh, 25 frames for us and then we're going to push the record button which is this right there we're gonna dolly in we have these controls for the camera here's dolly orbit pan and then the regular camera so we're gonna dolly in right there orbit over to the U center the U and you can see that when you zoom in it's really bad quality uh, don't worry that's just render settings if it's bad quality you can just go to here and select the best and you see that's nice and crisp but it can go slow so I'm just gonna keep it on normal but make sure you put it back on best when you're going to render out your project so now what we're going to do is go to the properties of the camera, go to rotation, and we're going to put in negative 32. And then pan in a little bit more. And there we go. And then we're going to stop the recording. And then we can go over here. You can see what we have so far. like that that's so that's pretty cool so now what we're going to do is add more text so let's push the T or select the type or the text icon we're gonna drag that into this group we don't want it in the background group where to go alright so let's do new text again what we're going to do, type in is on enter depend all in caps and then we're going to align to the right or let's select them first then we're going to do that let's go to our HUD make the color the dark blue just like that and then what we're going to do is rotate 90 so go to our properties go to rotation negative 90 and then we're going to change up the sizes so select the depend first and we're going to make the size of that we're going to make 99 go to texts Go to size 99 and we're gonna make the on 51 so now let's move our text select it bring it over here to right there we're in that uh, space next to the T 
and then we're going to select our depend and on make the line spacing negative 27 move it over again like that so that's what we have so far and then what we're going to do is make sure our Z position in properties or no in text Or it is okay properties go to transform position and make sure our Z is at 0 px and after that what we're going to do is duplicate this select our top one and delete the on and then go to our bottom one and s delete the depend and we'll move that over here again just like that and then we're gonna go to our on go to our HUD change the color to our lighter blue like so and then what we're going to do is move our anchor point of the depend so select depend right click push anchor point and then we're going to drag over a anchor point Whoops. of the depend to the right top corner like that and then we're going to right click it push transform 3d and then we're going to bring the playhead to the beginning of depend which it already is uh, so make sure it's at the beginning of our depend layer and then what we're going to do is go right here uh, right here double click it type in plus 30 so it goes um, up 30 frames push enter then we're going to select our depend layer and then uh, select the scale keyframe in the properties so go to properties the scale we're going to select that and then we're going to go back 30 so back to where we were and what we're going to do is mark the scale again and put it at 1 and then let's make sure our depend layer comes in after the cannot is situated and let's see if that's what we wanted so far let's make our render best if it'll play at that and whoops this bigger so you can see it or not all right so let's just play it so it's going a little laggy because it's on best quality but that's just the basic beginning yeah it's going really slow um here let me show you in the worst quality let's go to draft quality and try again just so you can see the real movement even though it's still going slow but that's a little faster so you can see a little more how it's going to look once you render it it'll look fine and that's actually all I'm going to show you guys because really it's just the same concepts the same um, the same ways you did this so you learn the basics right now and if you want to finish the whole typography like you see in the sample you can it's just the same same concept so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial sorry I was my computer and I were laggy a little bit and um, hope you guys learned something from it and if you guys make a ty typography video um, please uh, let us know and send it to us we love to watch you guys work if our tutorial helped you and have a great day and God bless you